a number of years ago, a former associate said that he wanted to be able to have a, a good answer for his children or his grandchildren when they ask, what have you done to save the planet? What can we do in our industry that addresses climate change? We're not going to do a ton because the industry is not that huge, but if we can be like that scratch in a champagne glass where the bubbles flow, if we can get people interested in climate change and see what we're doing, then maybe they will pick up the lead and, and do things in their own industries or in their own personal lives. Earthly Labs had a long history in the brewing industry, uh, and they were looking to translate that expertise, that knowledge, to the wine industry. Michael and his team looked at what they were doing, and for me, for Michael, for the team, it really became what we wanted to focus on for the 2022 harvest. I think it's really important because we do generate a lot of CO2 with the fermentation. Why wouldn't you do something about capturing carbon dioxide sequestering it, and turning it into something that you can use. Carbon sequestration is very important because this is really the one of the main reasons we have climate change, because so much CO2 is being given off with the way we live uh, that it's important to start to address it and, and at least stop climate change or go backwards a little. And a very, very important initiative that Michael and his team are spearheading is in fact the pilot test program we have currently underway with Earthly Labs. This is a CC unit. It collects the gas off the fermentation headspace that collects in the tank. The compressed gas moves through a purification process. From there, the scrub CO2 is cooled to a liquefied temperature. That liquefied gas is moved into the CO2 door where it can be stored for later use. We were able to collect 1,400 pounds of CO2 off just six tank collection. To put that into perspective, 1,400 pounds of CO2 is equivalent to what 30 mature trees would do in one year. So if you can imagine that at a full production scale, we would capture tons. And so we're looking at, well, can we take the CO2 being generated directly from a fermentation and turn it into something that is very useful. We're taking it a step further to create a product that we can use in-house, the dry ice now. And we can do use that in a fermentation that has ended, but we leave the wine in contact with the skins in extended maceration, and it protects the headspace. There's a lot of opportunities. I hope that we're encouraging other wineries to be a part of this goal to become carbon negative, and I hope that our customers also, people who drink a glass of Opus One, I hope that one of the daydreams they have when they're pondering uh, the flavors and the aromas and the, the mouthfeel of the wine, that they're thinking about how they can help save the planet as well.